contribution of some of my friends on the other side of the aisle have made in the fight against ISIL is to criticize this administration and me for not using the phrase radical Islam. What exactly would it change? A lot. Would it make ISIL less committed to trying to kill Americans? Not once has an advisor of mine said, man, if we really use that phrase, we're going to turn this whole thing around. So there's no magic to the phrase radical Islam. It's a political talking point. It's not a strategy. President Obama, passionate in his defense of not using terms radical Islamic terrorists. This is a new Fox News poll out tonight. Uh, asked the question, has the Obama administration made America stronger or weaker? And you can see the results. Um, although better from earlier, uh, June 2014, uh, still weaker, 49 to 40 percent. Let's bring in our panel. We welcome Monica Crowley, editor and columnist for The Washington Times, Jeffrey Goldberg, national correspondent for The Atlantic, and syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. Okay, Monica, you heard the president's uh, speech today. Thoughts? Well, that phrase that he used, that there's no magic to the phrase radical Islam, really struck me because if he really believes there's no magic to it, why doesn't he just use the phrase? You cannot hope to defeat an enemy unless and until you're able to define it. That's just step number one. That is the bare minimum. And this president refuses to not just delineate who the enemy is and what we're up against here um, in all of its parameters, but he also refuses to engage it. So his steadfast refusal to name the enemy then leads into this lack of a coherent strategy that we've seen from the president from the very beginning. Interesting, Jeffrey, that he said it today after a day after Hillary Clinton, the presumptive Democratic nominee, said, you know, she doesn't have a problem saying it. Mm -hmm. She just doesn't want the implication that the U.S. is at war with Islam. Right, right. Well, you know, I, I use as my guide on this, not the president, not Hillary Clinton. I talk to people in CENCOM, which is, has the responsibility for the Middle East, the military's responsibility for the Middle East, intelligence people, and they say they would prefer not to broaden the, 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 the subject. And what they mean by that is they would rather not have a situation in which Muslims who are on our side feel as if we're talking negatively about their religion. And that is the, where, I think that's where the guidance is coming from, from Obama. He has the predisposition not to use the term anyway, but I think he's hearing, as he said, he's hearing from his own intelligence experts and military experts, you know what, there's no reason to go out there and do this if there's a chance that we could alienate people who we need to actually defeat ISIS with. Even with the word before, radical, in other words, people the, hear what they, the, the, the fear is that is they hear not radical, not violent, but, but Islam. And, and I, you know, I, I differ with Monica a little bit. I don't know what it would necessarily do. Uh, I think we have a pretty clear understanding that ISIS is, uh, is a radical organization uh, that derives its principles from a particular reading of Islam and kills a lot of people, including a lot of Muslims, based on that. I'm not sure how much more clarity we would have. Charles. Look, the fact that the president goes way out of his way for seven and a half years to uh, avoid the phrase that is obviously the most descriptive of the enemy, radical Islam, means he's doing it for a purpose. He pretends and says, well, it's, if it's a magical phrase, uh, will it, uh, people who are arguing against him uh, are saying, I think the, the president said, calling it a threat by a different name doesn't make it go away. Of course it doesn't. Nobody implies it does. But deliberately calling it by something meaningless. Violent extremism is a completely empty phrase. No one has ever strapped on a suicide vest in the name of extre extremism. Nobody dies in the name of extremism. Obama is deliberately trying to deny or to hide or to disguise the connection between all of these disparate acts and groups and if you want to mobilize a country behind you, you need to tell them who the enemy is, why it's doing what it is. FDR did not say the day after Pearl Harbor, yesterday, a day which will live in infinite, we were attacked by the violent extremists. 